Hello and welcome. David here with YojimboSecurity.ninja. Today we're going to be checking out NCRAC. What is NCRAC? It's an authentication, um, network authentication cracking tool. Uh, where do you get it? Well, it comes with NMAP. So if you download NMAP, you'll get NCRAC and NCAT, which is another pretty cool tool. Uh, check it out. I've blogged about it already. And there's a video. Check out Kensei Musashi and you'll find it. But today we're working with NCRAC. It can do quite a few different little things. Let's check out the man page. Again, what is it? It's a cracking tool. We're going to attack passwords. But I just kind of want to show you some of the things that it can do, um, some of its specialties. Uh, it, there's better ones for network auth authentication cracking. Um, I prefer Hydra. But. Um, you know, Windows can download uh, Nmap, and this comes with it. So if I hate Windows, don't ever use it. But if you have to, you know, do your thing. So what can we do? We can attack uh, FTP, Telnet, SSH, HTTP, HTTP, HTTPS, SMB. So look at all this stuff that I can do. Pretty nice, you know. If this is the only tool that you got, this is a great tool. Today we're going to stick with some basics, you know, FTP and SSH. I'm going to save the HTTP for uh, Hydra, and then I'm going to do something else. I haven't decided what else yet. All right. Uh, so let's check out what we got here. Go to the basics. Check out the man page. Yada yada yada. Normal stuff. Here's the code. Now I'm going to copy and paste it. I do not recommend you do that. Type it in. You know that builds muscle memory and it kind of helps you out, anyways. So let's go through. I'm gonna talk about how this breaks down. In crack, you're calling the program. The flag dash u is the username. Since we're attacking uh, SSH, we're gonna attack root because that's what you want. Uh, there are ways to disable root logins you might have to go in and attack a different user but we're attacking a mesploitable too because again don't attack a machine that's not yours and we want something that's intentionally weak so there's the root login uh, the capital dash p is the password file so if you do a capital u that'd be the username file but this is the password file. This is where it is located at. If you're using Kali Linux uh, 2.0, this is where it is at. I suggest you use Kali in, or some other Linux distro. I do not recommend doing any pen tests with Windows unless you're attacking Windows. It's the only reason to have it is to attack it. Um, this is our the address that we're attacking. Uh, again, this is a virtual box uh, machine. It's a virtual machine. I use virtual box. Um, let's kind of check it out here. Here we go. Mesploit 2. Uh, first thing I do is you can see this is a snapshot one. As soon as I get it and I got it up and running the very first time I take a snapshot of it because I can destroy it and then I can just reboot from the clean snapshot or, or roll back to the snapshot so I'm gonna do a login I'm gonna change the password uh, login is MSF admin for the user password MSF admin all right Did that wrong? Okay, name MSF admin. I'm gonna change the password. Mm, I'll do password. Because we're attacking root login, we made it really easy. So again, I can change it, and then I can always go back to my snapshot, and it'll be the original password again. Get this out of the way. Uh, yeah. All right. 
So this is a virtual box. I'm using host only. That's how you connect to it. So only my machine can see it, can attack it, can go after it. We're attacking SSH port 22. You can change that, but we're going to do standard stuff. So hit enter. Now it's going. It's doing its thing. It's not going to tell you much until you hit enter again. So it says zero found, about 1.9% uh, done. Hit it again, up oh, 3%. We're working. Oh, look at that. We got something. Found one. Press P to list discovered credentials. And there we go. 422 SSH root password. And it's going to keep going. There's no need to. So I'm going to kill it. Uh, control C if you don't know. Control L just cleans the screen like that. Pretty cool little tool. Um, so what are the some of the stuff that we could do? We could have it stop as soon as we um, as soon as we get something. Oh, something I also wanted to say. Right here, an input file from Nmap. So this is a great thing about it is that it does come rolled with Nmap, so you can uh, output your uh, in maps output you can take that output and put it into a uh, an, uh, XML format and this will take it read it parse through it and um, you know tag the stuff that, that it can detect we're not going to show you that there uh, we're just or here we're going to show you some more basic stuff quick cracking service after uh, one found credential so let's try this again we'll just throw it in first thing dash f so what we did there with the dash f says as soon as you find something stop because there's not going to be more than one password for uh, the root login and that's all we need is one so it'll go through do its thing and once it found it it'll stop just give it a minute here. Uh, percent done. There we go. Just stopped. And we got it. Pretty easy. Now you want to find out if we have it. We got it. Isn't that, <clears throat> isn't that nice? Excuse me. So there's SSH. Um, here's another way of doing it. You can show uh, do the dash. Um, hmm. I misquoted. I told you something. It said if the dash. Well, I might not have told you guys that. But uh, the dash P22, uh, that's the port. So instead of it doing it this way, you can uh, specify what port it is if someone does have SSH on an unusual port. You can go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's use that. And then let's go with uh, FTP. So we're going to come in here. It's the same thing. Um, well, let's put it in the terminal. Program name, uh, dash u for username, dash p for where it's located at, what password you want to use, what password file, I should say, the IP address, and what port. Well, let's show you that other one. We'll specify what port. We'll throw it in right here. Dash P twenty one port twenty one FTP and let it run. Now this one we're not doing the the, the patch or the oh look at that. So we already got a hit uh, anonymous password you know, with hacker spelling. 
Pretty nice. Same thing as uh, the other ones. Now here's the super secret cheat. Isn't that cool? Let me show you what that does. Let's just say F, uh, FTP. So that was the last thing we were doing. You don't have to put in any other information, no uh, flags, just end crack program name, port, and IP. And it's going to sit there and attack it. And it's got some. Let's list it. Oh, look at that. We didn't get it here, did we? Anonymous password. That's all we got. This is giving us anonymous plus this password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hit enter again. It still only found one. The one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, let's keep letting it run. So there's uh, NCRAC. Check it out. It's a really cool. Uh, oh, look at that! We found two. We got anonymous one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five. So check out this super cool cheat. Good reason for checking out NCRAC. You can't do that with Hydra. Um, but yeah, check it out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, you can email me, uh, Sanjuro at yojimbosecurity.ninja. Go ahead and uh, throw me an email. I'll try to help you out. Uh, check out the, the blog. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed. Right, bye.